So does this mud flap hurt your fuel economy when you're driving unloaded? We're gonna find out in this video. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim, the truck's Daisy, and we're hauling paws. Today I'm gonna be doing uh, not a 100% scientific test on the mud flap. Does it help your fuel economy if you take it off? We're gonna find out. So today I've got about a 14 and a half mile an hour headwind that's slightly from the driver's side front corner. I'm gonna drive about, I don't know, 75 to 85 miles with it on. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with it off. I'm going east across um, Arizona. So the terrain will be sort of the same going across. I'll have a little few hills and I'll have a lot of flats. So we'll just see what it does. So let's get going and do the first leg with the mud flap on and then we'll see what the fuel economy is. Okay, so that is the first leg with the mud flap on and you can see that I got 14 and a half miles to the gallon going 75 miles an hour over 86 miles. Now we're going to take it off and then see what the fuel economy is. Okay, so I'm going to take it off and stow it in real time so you can see how long it takes to take my mud flap off. And that's it. So let's go see if it changes anything on the highway. So pulling into the lobes to look at the final numbers. Let me find a parking spot here and we'll go over the final tally. All right, so here's the final numbers. Let me get it through here. I went 89.5 miles. And you can see that the average was 24.7 over those 89.5 miles. So that's substantial. Uh, the wind has increased to about 21 miles an hour out of the same direction. And that's a big change. So let's go over the numbers for a typical month. So let's talk numbers. Now I did uh, round a couple of these by a tenth here or a tenth there just to make the numbers easier to see and so that I could put them over here so you could understand them a little bit better. Um, I'm going to base my calculations off of an average of let's say 7,000 loaded miles or unloaded miles, no reloads, so you got 7,000 loaded, 7,000 unloaded. 
and you got no reloads, everything was straight back and forth. So you drove 7,000 unloaded miles because that's what this is about, the mud flap when you're unloaded. So with the mud flap, it's 14.5 miles to the gallon. Without the mud flap, I got 24.7 miles to the gallon. So I'll put the stuff up here so you can follow along. So over 7,000 miles at 14.5 miles to the gallon, you would use 483 gallons of diesel fuel. Over 7,000 miles at 24.7, you would use 283 gallons of diesel. So that's 200 gallons. That's significant over the course of an entire month. So if you're, if you're averaging this, so, I mean, on the 14.5, it would be a total of $1,690.50. At the 24.7, it would be $990.50. So the difference is $700 over the course of a month in the fuel savings by taking the mud flap off when you're unloaded at an average of about 7,000 miles a month. Sometimes I run just about 7,000, sometimes I'm up uh, closer to 8,000, so I just kind of based it on my miles. So $700 is very significant over the course of a month. I mean, think about it. What could you do with 700 extra dollars? That's almost a truck payment. For some people, that is a truck payment. So $700 is significant. Now this is based off of a fuel cost of $3.50 on average. Now, my last trip to California and back, I was getting it mostly in the 320 range, uh, but you know there are some places that are 360, so you know all the averages are gonna be a little bit different, but if you kind of factor it at 350, which is kind of the baseline, $700 is what you'd save over the course of a month. And it takes seconds to take the mud flap off. It takes a little longer to get it ready so that you can take it on or take it off and put it back on easy, but it's not that hard. So I'm going to put a link to my video over here that, or somewhere, uh, that uh, shows you how I made my mud flap easily removable. And uh, and then maybe you can think about making yours removable. It's all about saving a little extra money, right? Yeah. All right, so if you got something good out of this video, give it a thumbs up, make a comment down below, whatever. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And as always, have safe travels, and I'll see you on the road.